10th anniversary International Aviation and Space Soul Max 2011 took place in Zhukovsky Airfield Central Test Base in the Russia. Flight Research Institute named Gromov one of the most exciting and bright aviation events of today from 16 to 21st August. Eight forty-two companies from 40 countries, including 220 foreign exhibitors, became the participants of the saloon. Over 550,000 people visited the air show during the six days. The exhibition was attended 3.5 thousand journalists from 848 Russian and foreign media. A demonstration of Russian high technology and the openness of the Russian domestic market for joint projects with foreign partners is the main goal of the air show. Marx has created a rare opportunity to examine issues of development, production, sale and service of aircraft and weapons. The total value of contracts awarded to the salon has exceeded $16 billion, based in the previous record marks. Air show provided an opportunity for everyone to watch on the ground and in the air prototypes of aircraft, combat systems, experimental facilities, which for some reason cannot be shown abroad. More than 240 units of civil and military aircraft of Russian and foreign production were at the static display. The United States, after a four-year pause, was attended in March 2011 with a major expansion. Individual samples of aircraft were presented at the MAX 2011 first time.
102 aircraft was attended in the demonstration program MAX 2011. Sukhoi Superjet 100 Russian shot haul passenger aircraft, comparable to mainline aircraft, was shown in the serial aircraft status. Ukraine introduced AN 158 in new regional aircraft as a salon. Commercial sales of AM-158 started in 2011. Airbus and Boeing with its latest liners were participating in Zhukovsky at the Mark's first time. The audience could get on board passenger giant A380 on static display. Inside the cabin, one could obtain the necessary information about the flight and navigation, and scientific research equipment, and even for a while to take a place of the pilot. Airbus A380 for up to 853 passengers in one class configuration participated in the daily demonstration flights. Currently, Aircraft are operated in more than 50 airlines, including Korean Airlines, Lufthansa, Air France, Emirates, Singapore Airlines. The company Airbus has received for this aircraft a total of 236 orders from 18 customers. All types of helicopters produced and developed by holding Russian helicopters were shown in the pavilion at the exhibition and static display. In the daily demonstration flight participated experimental and production models of the latest developments of the holding. A military theme of the Holden was presented by K-52 and Mi-28 and Cyril helicopters. MAX is different from Aeroshow World, with its complex and very interesting flight programs. Performances of world-famous Russian aerobatics teams were decoration marks. Aircraft aerobatics team of the Air Force of Russia Swift and Russian Knight demonstrated superior airmanship on MiG-29 and Su-27 combat aircraft.
Aerobatic team Falcons of Russia of Lipitz Aviation Technical Center into the Armament Russian Air Force Combat Aircraft demonstrated the group aircrew cooperation and the possibility of heavy fighters in close air combat. In the five planes carried out their program of aerial aerobatics routes of Vazimsky Aviation Center and Baltic Beers of Latvia. Vesma and Baltic Aces masterfully executed a cascade of hardest aerobatic maneuvers in airplanes L-39. Notable test pilots showed the possibilities of latest fighters in the sky Zhukovsky. The first production model of the Su-35S presented as the Max entered as the final stage of state trials. Su-34 multifunctional frontline attack aircraft performed all the stunts easily. F-15 Eagle, main impact of the third-generation multi-role fighter here as Air Force, come forward with the new 15-minute show program. American pilot demonstrated high aircraft performances of fighter at max.
Rafale, the latest French multi-role fighter fourth generation, demonstrated its unlimited possibilities. Sohoi T-50 Prospective Airborne Complex of Frontline Aviation, a fifth-generation fighter participated in the flight demonstration first time at the Mark 2011 among Russian new products. Spectators were to watch the flight of Sohoi T-50 the speed and flight characteristics of this new secret development of Russian designers. Max 2011 provides once again that Russia is a great aviation power, 